Welcome to the show, guys. I am Vaughn Joseph. Joining me today, Mr. Z. What up? What up? And it's me, Naz Sanin. <laughs> Naz who? <laughs> Naz who? <laughs> oh, can't give out that government name. <laughs> can't be doing that. <laughs> Gotta keep it he elusive. Came, he came out with us with government name. <laughs> yeah. 20 seconds into the show <laughs> yeah, already. Sure, like, like, <laughs> Let's talk conspiracy. <laughs> <laughs> Screw your topic. <laughs> I don't want to talk about your topic. Uh, today's show is brought to you by Respect the D, established in 2015 by two lifelong friends and Detroit natives. Respect the D aims to provide authentic Detroit merchandise to the masses. What up, what up? Founded in 1701, Detroit has an extremely rich history as a strategic point in American history. Steeped in innovative ideas, pioneers, and perseverance, Detroit has contributed to the very fabric of the 18th, 19th, 20th, and 21st centuries. Respect the D offers quality, iconic imagery and ideas. All Detroiters will be proud to own and wear show your detroit pride respect the d so head over to respect the d.com and get some goods so welcome to the show um i want to just talk about jealousy today i saw um i saw this thing on on the internet and uh, they were talking about jealousy and all these, you know, people in the celebrity world that are jealous and stuff like that. Um, and then we were just actually talking about relationships a second ago. And you're talking about Tinder? Is that what it was or something yeah. like that? Online dating generally. Online yeah, dating? Yeah, yeah. What is, was it that, because we've always pick on you about your relationship stuff. <laughs> this is your last day, man. You're off the, before we even, I'm, how am I glossing over this? Yeah. You're leaving to go to Colombia or somewhere over there and then. Da, da, da. Peru and then all this other stuff. Tell us about that real quick before we get into the show. My man's living the dream. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be hitting up um, Colombia, all over Colombia. I wanna hit it, visit um, Santa Marta, like the northern northern coast um, of like the very very top northern point of the continent as well. Um, so it's basically 32 degree Celsius. That is for you Americans, not Fahrenheit. 32 degree. Um, sun, Caribbean weather, and that's coastal. average. That's, no, that's, that's a normal that's, day for you. That's a, that's annual average Damn. temperature. Yeah. So I want to spend a lot of time by the beach, um, do some treks in the in the jungles, locate some remote waterfalls, um, just live in the vida loca, salsa classes, <laughs> yoga on the beach, <laughs> the culture. It. Yeah, yeah. Just just get away. Just regroup, recenter, have fun. Enjoy experience. Um, looking forward to it. Yeah, really can't wait. Really can't wait. Doing that I'm doing it on my own as well. Before anyone asks, not doing it with anyone. Obviously, I intend to meet many, many people uh, yeah. when I'm there and be as social um, as I can be. Um, but I, when when I think of adventure personally, for me, adventure is is the solo adventure, like someone that's done it on their own, his path, like on their path, on their on their own path, and they've turned it into into an adventure. Da -da. Yeah, uh, sounds exciting. Man. Yeah, so that'll be cool. Have a good time with that. And um, so you're not leaving any ladies behind. No relationships uh, being broken uh, off. The the last the the month just gone. I've been very hesitant, or well, not even hesitant, but I knew that. Are you bad with goodbyes? Huh? Is that what it is? Are you bad with goodbyes? <laughs> Are you just gonna up and leave them and not say anything? No, no, you don't no. Even know you're yeah, going abroad. yeah. A lot of well, some some of them don't. So, but but I've kept it. I've kept it very um. Uh, a very arm's length, if you say, proverbially and literally, um, for the last month, just just with the ladies, just just clean ke clean in my well, head. That's cool. Out. You can get you some Please. Colombian cooch while you're out there uh, flying around over there. So um, I've had Feel some free. I've had some some pretty um, interesting relationship situations lately. So um, this is why why jealousy popped up on the sh on the show today. Um, nothing nothing new for me has happened or anything like that, but. Um, 
jealousy, I don't even know if you've ever experienced jealousy in any relationships, young guys, but... Um, I, somebody uh, hit me up on Facebook a couple of uh, weeks ago, and uh, it was an old relationship from California. And I was like, Ugh. you know, when I saw it, I was like, oh no, you know, this is when the hair started going gray and shit, you know. So after this, the hair actually started falling out, all that. So don't don't let them tell you that 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 stuff can't happen because it can, it can and it does. So. Um, are we talking about the uh, the lady? Or yeah, 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 oh yeah. Because you started giving a description of yourself a little no, bit. No, that my <laughs> gray hair, the cause was the woman. Oh, I see, so yes. she don't have gray hairs and bull now. <laughs> no, 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 okay. I do. <laughs> she was the catalyst for all this, that's oh, all no. I'm saying. Oh. So, um, yeah, but, you know, but anyway, I'm not, I mean, the, the, the time was what it was. You know, I, I learned a lot from it and whatever. You know, I'm not saying it was an all bad thing. I learned a lot from it. It was, a, it was good in that respect mm. but um when they start putting tracking stuff on your computer and stuff like that you know you can't wow. you gotta, See, i've never i've never run. really experienced that like i know some of my friends have and i've heard like older people as well like that i know like older say people. some, crazy, know. some well, <laughs> yeah you fit that category don't you mm. <laughs> but no like i've heard i've heard like crazy crazy stuff like like tracking people like with the um find my eye iPhone app definitely taking um, advantage of these, don't they? These services. And I was like, I think a lot of it has to do with technology, and I think jealousy is only spiked you know in recent in recent years. I think in the in the in like the I don't know in in the human psyche because of how like open and how much <coughs> sharing of people we how I don't know we all do in our lives like yeah. through social media and stuff like that and everyone wants to make make appearances rather than just have actual experiences with people. I don't give a fuck if if anyone care if anyone knows, but they know because that's the that's the importance. But there's a lot of value being put on on just like the idea of being in a relationship for for whatever whatever reason. I think but, it comes um, down to accessibility, like the ease of tracking someone, the ease of speaking to someone online. That's become the norm, and because of that, I think people are shying away from from just more of an interaction through. Yeah, human interaction should I say like eye to eye, face to face, smell that smell. You know, you might be looking fine online, but you might smell like a rat's bootay. Ah, <laughs> you know, wow! <laughs> we don't, and I'm definitely not jealous about that. Just saying, you know, dirty naz. <laughs> hey. Up in this. Hey, hey, I take my showers. I take my baths. <laughs> I'm a shower man. I'm a bit eco friendly out here. You know, we save that water. I never have baths. I hate baths. You don't take baths. He just no. told me earlier he doesn't even wear deodorant. No, oh, yeah, damn. I don't wear deodorant. No, I don't. I haven't for three, four years. Yeah, wow. I haven't. Yeah. I smell of pheromones and man, a man must. Oh, please. And they had a woman so, since when? Nah, they love it. Yeah. They love it. They do. <laughs> they, do. <laughs> they do. I'm not exactly dirty, but I don't, I don't, I don't really like to use, um, like aftershave and stuff like that anymore. Anyway, like, like I, th- I actually genuinely believe there is something to that natural scent. And I yeah. think, and I, I mean, think if you keep yourself cleansed, yeah. yes, you keep yeah, yeah, washed, yeah. I'm not talking about, yeah, I'm not, no, I'm not suggesting like that. that I think fragrances like they that. mask yeah. the smell, right? Yeah, that doesn't exactly, get rid of it. Exactly. So hygiene well, over. But, but that being fragrance. said, there are there are occasions. I, I can't remember what it was, but I was around my friend's house. We were um, Nottingham Uni, and he was he was telling me how he tried on some um, some like like some aftershave from like when he was around like his friend's house or whatever just some random one and he was like oh it's this what this brand or whatever i can't remember the brand but mm. it was 300 pounds for a fucking <clears throat> little bottle right mm. 300 pounds yeah. of this stuff so he has two sprays they go out clubbing that night and then there was girls approaching him, a certain kind of girl shall we say the the that were walking past and they were like they knew that smell they were like oh he's wearing so and so he's in the money because it's a 300 quid bottle and not everyone was wearing that in the club if that makes sense and that's how and it was a certain type of girl that was like oh hey like all of a sudden and he was like it's mad like how just just that like they they know like so yeah. i don't know maybe i am missing a trip maybe i need to invest 300 pounds in in the art in I mean, after shave i don't think i do personally but <laughs> But there is that that out there, so I found that quite bizarre. Whoever floats your boat, right. I guess. Yeah. But Do you know um, what? I'm not jealous of. Yeah, we're we're, him. we're straying from jealousy. I don't know what all that <laughs> <laughs> deodorant went to, to that, but you know what? We're talking we're about pheromones. Yeah, no, I get that. I get that. Bringing but, it back to basics, yeah, jealousy-wise, 
I would say thank the Lord that I didn't really have that in me. Like, I don't know if it was masked in, like, competition in any way. Even then, I haven't really been that competitive. I've been in my own lane, did my own thing. If it felt, if the world aligned itself for me, then it worked out. I think you live a little bit more stress-free like that. Man, that's so the best way the to jealousy, be. The jealousy, I personally haven't experienced it, but I've dealt with it in the sense that there's experiences in the past, be it through friends or through relationships, that... You know, it's it's been a thing. So you've experienced it, just not it hasn't been in, in your your situation. Yeah, it hasn't been. Yeah, not coming from me. Mm. It wasn't resonated from me. Yeah, I haven't had any. I've been knee deep in it from track, what's around GPS me. track me. None that I'm aware of anyway. <laughs> like, like maybe, maybe they're still out I there. I would be surprised. <laughs> some local uh, ladies out there, for sure. And they might say that the men drive them like that, but they're each they're their own. There's a lot of women think that. Yeah, I've heard that. I actually just heard mm. it yesterday on on a podcast. Well, yesterday I also saw a little clip from Will Smith talking about fault and responsibility and they don't go intertwine together. If someone can be at fault and the other person has the responsibility to deal with it, not the person that who made that fault or that action. So what I'm trying to get at is the, the people, women or men, mm. who blame their partner or ex-partners. Well, you know, no, they've got some sort of weird systematic psycho process in their head that leads to this tracking this envy of of yourself like you know you've got an identity or they want to just hold on to it for themselves greed it all comes wrapped into one i think but it does stem from jealousy i mean i'm, I'm sure we can all share a story or two about how um it's done your head in like you know you're looking fly fresh to death you know, it's a normal day for you, but you know, she on the other hand's like, "Why are you looking so fine? Why are you looking so cute? Who are you going to see?" I'm yeah. like, "Chill with your well, women. Women are wired different in that respect. Some. Like, Let's yeah, put some before well, everyone comes in and attacks yeah. us. Well, no, well they deal with it. They deal him. with it. No, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I mean, Let's I think, separate nah, ourselves. No, 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 no. I think I've, they're, they're, they're all the same <laughs> oh, ge- genetically, but like some, some are better than others. Some are worse than others. Well, same with men. It's not like, same we're, with men. Not like exactly. we're, we're the better of the two species or <laughs> anything. Well, we are, though, so. but let's just, yeah. Yes, let's see how far that gets in life. Yeah. Period. Let alone with the women. Good luck with that one. I think you've got some confident women in Colombia. Yeah. And, you You're know. going to be a changed man in about 30 days. <laughs> come get me. Oh, no, please. Somebody come get me. Have you done a one-way ticket or a return? One-way ticket, yeah. Wow. One-way ticket. Might be back in three months. Might be three years. Like, might be yeah. three days. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> nah. You'd be back. That's what my mum said. She was like, you're going to spend all your money. I was like, you don't know me. And she was like, yeah, I know you. That's what I'm saying. I was yeah. like, Because you haven't worked in like, it's been about a month. No, no, it's been more. I haven't worked since November. Man, that's a dream. I don't remember that. That's the only time I've worked. I was saying to Joseph, I I was like, I don't even know what day it is when I wake up. I'm like, fuck it. I've got another hour. Mm. It's brilliant, but it's making me... um, not very sharp. Yeah, well, not you'll, very, you'll uh, be on point again when you get to, to where you're going because uh, you'll have shit to deal with. So, yeah, yeah. Like, um, this one, this one uh, relationship I had about talking about jealousy again. This girl had f- this obsession with my phone being on vibrate because, like, I wouldn't always have it off yeah. because of where I worked, you know. So then when I got off work, I we, I go home. Yeah. There's no reason to turn it on, you know, because yeah. I just forget a lot of times because yeah. it's in my pocket, it's tripping because of my phone was off like i'm trying to not have it ring at home and shit like that and just crazy stuff so i had girls showing up at my job once and just crazy stuff i had i had something similar but my phone it wasn't on vibrate it was on silent like a lot of a lot of the time um if i was out like riding with my friends and stuff in like like bmxing and stuff in the woods we would like it might just be any in interaction in ru- might make yeah, you fall might, off the BMX. It might be no, no, it might be in the rucksack or whatever. Do you oh, know what yeah. I mean? So it's not. It's like com- we're doing something completely, completely different. And then obviously I was like quite like a lot, lot younger than I am now anyway. But um, like I do remember sort of in in those days though when I go back to my phone, so after like three hours of not being on it, right? That's mm. not a huge amount of time. Did you get any like, calls miss- from these ladies? Like uh, multi- multiple, 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 and then like it would start like hey. And then 
after like two hours, that hey would be like, where are you? It's like, you bitch, all right, fuck you. It's like, and it just escalates because they haven't had a reply. So they just think you're just they're like doing a conversation with themselves. themselves. They're having a, yeah, sluts yeah. That's they're having a conversation on their own. And I'm like, whoa, like, like, which one do I reply to? Like if the high or like the, the, if you look the one at the you reply stamp. to is the button that says delete the contact. <laughs> or, that's the yeah. one you reply to. You do that or yeah, you reply with one character, K. <laughs> oh, yeah. that drives them crazy! Yeah, no, I don't. said all that, and that's all you can say. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and then uh, you you, you yeah. get hit with one of those um you know those essays, but then the, the, they're too long to send in one, so oh, they send no. like three, and it's all part of the same fucking thing. And you're like, you're kidding! Like, I'm not gonna read this. I'm gonna reply to maybe that question there out of those hundred. <laughs> Man, I wish I was like that. I would have to. I'll be reading, trying to reply with logic. Trying to uh, you can't, put sense no, through, women aren't but then logical. when they you do can't that, come at women logically. Not, most Some. women aren't logical. They're emotional. They're emotional most creatures. We are I'm saying that. Bitches. In the times we're in now. I'm seeing a lot of emotional men and some very sturdy women. Why do you think that is? That's At least problem. on the man side of that's the game. That's the problem. I think that's a problem. Why do you think that is? I think the society's pressure of being masculine and being a man is told no, to just no. put your chin up and do your we thing. Would, yeah, but why do you think that, that the, the men now are oh, okay. more, wait, what wait, you wait, said, wait, feminine? Wait, wait. Is that what you naz, said? Naz, naz. Yeah. What we were just saying. Why, you, we why saying, do you think that is, though? I think so because... Right. What? what? I'm saying yin yang. Okay. There's a masculine energy. There's a feminine energy. Both. We like, have both. Everybody has that. Everyone, everyone has. Everybody has, has both. Everyone has both to an extent. But like, the it's it's role reversal now. Okay, so well, you've got we, you've right, got chicks got in that, the gym doing why, deadlifts though? and shit. Why? Why and do you like, think that you is have, though? Why do you think that's the case? Well, well, you're saying it's social conditioning. I'm asking you a question. He's asking, you. He's asking me a asking question. You a question. Oh, right. He's trying to give those political no, you answers. You no, you interrupted no, no. me like 50 no. times. You might as well answer it. <laughs> yeah. Well, somebody <laughs> answered it. I just keep I'm asking the same question. Nobody's saying yeah, shit. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think it is real reversal. I think it's, it's a lot of it is just media. A lot of people were just growing up bitches. <sighs> And then, and then, because the men are Go being bitches. Go deeper on that. Go deeper. Okay, so on because that. the men are being bitches, the women feel like it's in their res their responsibility to take on more responsibility to be more masculine. Okay. Because the men think, aren't I doing think, their okay, part. Okay, hold on, hold on. So back up. Okay. So why are the women being more bitchy then? So go down that that. Because path. they they the the men aren't letting them be feminine, which is what they truly deep down I think want to be. The men. Yes. Yes. Okay. Because the men are more feminine than they should All right, be. So. So not, not why everyone. though? But why though? Why? That's why I want hostile words here, man. I'm yeah. trying, really yeah. hoping that you get to the yeah. root of this because I'm interested in him yeah. while we're pathing. I mean, it. I, think, I'm, I think I'm trying I to think help you along. No, personally, yeah, him, personally yeah. I think it's a little bit of um, like social conditioning. Like, I don't know if it's mass media. I don't know if it's like popular culture. Do you think I maybe it's like the parenting before that? I'm not trying to say that there's any like. You know, gay component to it yeah. or anything like that. I mean, where you're raised in a house with two men or two women. Yeah, That's yeah, not yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm talking about like a, 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 a man being raised in a house with just a single mom. Because there's a lot of that. That's very common where I'm from, anyway. Yeah. It's very common. I grew up with just my mom, right? Yeah. So that's very common. So do you think maybe that has something to do no, with the, re the I, reason why they're acting that no, way? No, because I, I, know, I know loads of, I know quite a lot of like guy friends that have only had like grown up with their mum and then sisters as well like sisters I think and, and they have no choice but and to be them and they're, the and they're actually strongest. like some of the manliest men yeah, that exactly. I know those particular ones so I don't think that has anything to do with it I, I think it's I don't know I don't know what it is mm. I, I think um, it must start. You, I, I see what you're saying though. It must you start early on. Uh, answer the question. I know. <laughs> I'll shout. I'll Go get a cocktail. What do you Otherwise, want to go? Because if I was on his level, it would just be back and forth. <laughs> so I'm trying to take a step back a little bit, just a little bit, because it's been such a long time since we had a a uh, a, a nice proper little, chin wag. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, no. I um, okay, so from bullet points, I can recall um, why men are more. Well, what are men if they're in a single parent household? I think they compensate for that man when um, they have to grow up early to be the uh, adult man figure as well as the mother playing both roles, I guess. But then the mother will always only be the mother, really. She can do her best to be the father, but it comes a time where that man will have to be his own father figure. And so I think a man like that will have... I wouldn't say 
will have a, a more of an emotional connection to the world and society. I don't know if it's feminine or masculinity. I think we all have it in us to be both. But does that separate? I'm not saying on a gender basis. I'm just saying more in touch with being a human. Mm -hmm. But then in terms of why are men swaying towards what women were mo mostly known to be and vice versa is probably because men can't get through to women and they're just like you know what i've had enough of punching a wall i've had enough of trying to be uh channeling it through rage it's not doing it it's either gonna kill me or i could just burst into tears or I could just be like, hey, lady, I ain't getting along with you right now. But my friend over here, this homie, we get along so well, <laughs> we don't argue. And he right. gets me. And I'm going to be gay. <laughs> Maybe. I don't so know. Oh, are, you, are, you, are you coming out right now? Is, is that, that just no, what happened? No yeah. closets. Oh. I get along with everybody. But I'm strictly for the ladies. But, you know, I am fortunate to have um, <laughs> friends that I can talk to. If I can't get through to someone and I've quickly realized through experience that if you can't get through to someone They're choosing not to listen. You can't force feed your information to someone yeah, either yeah. open up and take it in And if you're gonna go all ratchet on me, then I'm out the door. I haven't got time for this I'm trying to heal myself in this dark cold world we live in and if you're here trying to poison me then I'm out yeah. And that's what it comes down to. Um, so oh, that's so good that you're aware of that because a lot of people like they might have that in the background of their mind and they feel like something's wrong, something's like not quite right, and yeah. they're like, ah, oh, it must just be this other thing, and they carry on and they try and like tackle it from a different standpoint, but they get further down the road, and then it gets to a point where it's like, well, I've been together like for so so x amount of years, and then it's even harder to do what you're saying. So I think I think it's actually the first key is like awareness of it like yeah and it's also being aware. it's also like healing process right a lot of people jump from one relationship to another relationship and they bring their baggage with them mm. the only i say the only baggage you should bring is your suitcase and it's ready to go on holiday no that's that's like mine yeah like you've got a duffel bag no suitcase damn son it's just a just a rucksack is but it a um, big big rucksack 50 liters 50 liters yeah 50 liters that's how they measure it so it's one of those um is it like a hiking trekking bag? Yeah, yeah so maybe, you can fit a lot in there then. So that big so it's got, Okay, that's still quite small. But it's like, yeah, it's but quite it's, small. Yeah. But, but it's small all in the packing, man. It's all about the packing. Roll everything up. Yeah. Um, put like socks and boxes yeah, in your yeah, shoes. Yeah. Yeah, if like, you, you probably won't have many shoes idea. with you. Two, three pairs and flip yeah. flops. Plus, <laughs> st stuff in them will uh, vacate space, more space, that's should right, I say, and not destroy. The, the kicks it's all important to look after your kicks ladies yeah. and gents um but anyway I like no i appreciate that yeah that's how i do it when i go back and forth from well, abroad i don't know but yeah you know where you're saying how uh you know i've I'm lucky to, or I'm fortunate enough to be aware of this. Yeah. But it only comes from being tired of being tired. And also comes from like, okay, let's leave room to heal. Let's not jump from one relationship to another. And then, then you ha can uh, analyze yourself a little bit more. And really it just comes down to being tired of being tired. Mm. And then you finally ha get to the point where you want to do something. So it's like, okay, um, you can quickly see how fine this person is but let's look through the surface let's see these tendencies these traits that people have as soon as i see a little bit of jealousy I, I will stick it on them i'll be like yo this is what you're doing this is what i'm seeing how do you feel about me you know being uh finding this quite obvious in you as in mm. like i can sense this from you it's not that nice yeah. Um, is this something Where's you're aware of? Do you want to do something <clears throat> about it? Yeah. Some people take it in a good way, others take it in a bad way. The mm. ones that take it in a bad way, yeah, they're in you, denial. Yeah. And, uh, they are the ones where it comes back to. So it's, almost, it's almost like a, it's almost like yeah. I don't want to say like a trap. It's not a trap, but like that's the, that's the wrong. It's almost like a uh, a test. Like a it's a not test even, for it's you just and a, for them. Yeah, like, I think so. You know, be where, careful with the words you use because yeah. a test is like you're trying to catch them out. And I think yeah, women yeah, do that a lot. I can't say about men because I don't have these intimate conversations with men so much <laughs> but like um with me i think it just comes down to conversation man like are you on the same platform as me are you gonna help me grow because i'm here to help you grow mm. and that's it yeah and that's if you're into it but yeah. if you're here for like a drive-through like what you're planning to do in colombia you never know he might come back married with kids or might come back and fucking and find out he's got kids <laughs> 20 years later <laughs> 
you might come back carrying a purse for all I know. So, anyway. Um, Whoa. Come on, that's not cool. New experiences. What's that's not cool about that? What are you me coming back now? in a purse? So? Was well, so it like chopped up? Like, I said with no. a purse. Oh, with a purse. Maybe oh, some right, heels no. to go with it. Yes, oh, what no, the no, hell damn, is wrong son. You, no, no, man. No. I thought you meant like cartelled. Like, I was like, oh, what a weird, what a horrible no, thing to man, say. That's, like, that's, that's not what me. I meant, dude. Right, okay, that's fine. not what I was talking about. So, but if you do get with the wrong lady, the long <laughs> yeah, Colombian lady, yeah, you might yeah, just get in a. Might be your future. Yeah. yeah. Oh, just take a body bag with you just to be a bit more convenient. Shut up. <laughs> Lovely. God forbid that happens to you. I had another. I'm really opening up today, gents. Oh, it's been a long time. I'm having an Oprah moment. I am having an Oprah moment. Um, <laughs> You're getting the card. You're getting mm. the card. Anyway. <laughs> What about you, man? Have you, uh, oh, well, before no, I start. Carry on, carry on. Yeah? No, no, carry on, because you were going to go somewhere with this. I was so. going to go somewhere with this. I was going to say the, the, I don't know where I was going with this. The emotions are running wild right now. The words can't <laughs> conform. Um, jealousy, man. I'm so scared of it, to be honest. Not to be it, as I said earlier, but to, like, fall into it with, and just play, like, collateral damage to someone's, life who they haven't really been able to heal does that even make sense i don't know but um, what i'm know. trying to get at is we need to make sure we don't keep seeing the same people we don't experience the same thing because if we're talking about jealousy yeah, and we have yeah, our, yeah. we'll all have conversations about jealousy you know there's a, a and a, you know humans aren't perfect so they can be a little bit flawed so a little jealousy maybe mm. I, i'm fortunate enough not to really be jealous i just see it as like hey you either feel me, you don't. I have a bit of yeah, self-worth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you have to. Everyone should have it. And if you don't have it, you're yeah, doomed. Well, what's, what's, the, what's the word where it's the opposite of um, monogamy? Like a monogamous relationship, there's a poly... What's, the, what's a poly... Uh, uh, where poly, you're, you have like multiple... Polyamorous. Polyamorous yeah. um, experience. And that's... There's, a, there's like a lot of research and studies su suggesting that that's how we're hardwired. When we used to live in tribes, we didn't used to just settle down with, with, one, lady, with one woman. Mm. We had few in the village and those children... Do you know what I mean? That's, but it was normal. Like, everyone had like... Oh geez, it wasn't like a weird sort of like wow. thing. It was like I was about a very to normal. Jump in there, and then you started throwing orgies, so I had <laughs> yeah, to jump back yeah. out. <laughs> yeah, well, in, in places like the, uh, in terms of like Scandinavia, like Naz the Vikings. Is not your wingman. No, <laughs> not in that manner. <laughs> in terms of like, yeah, um, like Viking culture and stuff, they it was very very open. Obviously, there there'd be a king and queen, but mm. at certain times of the year when they were worshiping like their pagan gods and stuff, it was basically a free for all for everyone, and it was a very communal thing that just everyone got it on with it i don't know where i'm going with that per se but, but the idea going back to poly polyamorous relationships maybe maybe a lot of the problems like of jealousy come from uneasiness of being with someone for like 40 years being with someone for 50 60 years unless like that's actually like what you both like I don't know. I don't I don't define the word. Good. Define I don't the word. Understand what you're saying. Define the word. That might bring us to the root. Well, you 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 have multiple. What was it? Polyphonic ring ringtones or something? <laughs> what <were> we? <laughs> Polyamorous. Polyamorous. Someone um, hit me with a definition right now. So that's my way of, of having, saying that. Instead I'm of not having quite with you right now. Like instead of just being a couple, there's. Can you hit us with a with yeah? We'll see if you can. It's basically multiple. Is it like just polyamorous? It? Is the practice of or desire for intimate relationships with more than one partner, with the knowledge of all partners? It has been described as consensual, ethical, and responsible non-monogamy. People who identify as polyamorous reject the view that sexual and relational exclusivity are necessary for deep, committed, long-term loving relationships. Yeah. So the the only reason that I sort of get where that's coming from. That was beautifully said, by the way. Say, say you have, say, say you have um, someone that you, it's, it's actually your soulmate, right? Like, you're like really, really, just go with me, right? So, so you say you have someone that's like, you're really tight and you can talk about the world and they get you and you understand each other. 
but in bed, like it's not quite there. Like something's not happening. Right. So, so you've got someone else. Nah. Oh right. See, God. I was talking. I just had that. this conversation with someone just last maybe two weeks ago. This exact conversation because I saw it and it was happening. So the guy that was the good conversationalist was getting. He looked like a real dick on TV. Yeah. Because the woman was bringing the other man to, they all had, you know, at the same house, she was bringing him to the house. Yeah. But he was paying the bills and da 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 da. And the other guy was the cleanup man. <laughs> so the other guy just was there just to skeet Dang. and skedaddle, right? That's he ain't putting no bills in. No. <laughs> he was just there just to smash and dash, right? So. Damn. And the, then the other guy was like, "Well, she." You, you know, telling me he ain't jealous? She, exactly. Right. There's right. gotta be some. Yeah. I can see it in his eyes when he I was watching quit. it. I was like, but, "Man, but that, that guy that feels guy, so bad for me. Yeah, he's man. Broken. That cringe. guy's broken. Maybe. Of course, I 100 percent agree. But that guy's just playing the victim card. If he was like an alpha male, he'd have like his own. Not everybody can be an alpha male. Ah, uh, you're right. Not everyone's an alpha male. I think everyone. Yeah. Everyone has their know. own lane. I, I think I think options are healthy. That's that's all I was trying to get across. And I thought I I remember that word because I was like that's an interesting something that I heard somewhere. So do like, you think it'll be I'm, okay when you get older, or do you think that, do, I, you, do you think that when you get older, even now you're already yeah. what twenty two, twenty three, three, yeah. twenty three. So um, so do you think that going forward with that viewpoint that you will be entering into relationships with that? With that understanding, or with that uh, maybe that option for the other person that you're with, I'm I'm a very 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 open person. Like you know that about me. Like I'm, I'm open. I'm not open to like everything, but like I might think about it, and and if it and if it's right and it everything fits together. I'm not saying no, but I'm not saying that's that's definitely me. So Valentine's. I'm just saying he's not sure, basically. Nah, nah, he wants yeah. to swing, yeah. but he's not sure if he wants to be pushed yet. <laughs> Fred, Fred and Dave are going to swing. Uh, yeah, like, so. Do I want to swing? <laughs> he kind of just kicking his legs, but he won't quite. And then you got Fred and Dave saying, Shawty, swing my way. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> sure oh, looks days. good to me. Right. So is that what you that's, do? that's where you think you're going to be heading then later in life? Is something you might be trying to do mm-hmm. is... Be a swinger for a minute, or hmm. could you see even say orgy earlier too? Didn't he? A few he did. minutes ago. Funny well, you say that. To flip it back, just to take a little bit of pressure off of him, because <laughs> I think some pressure great. needs to be taken off. Why do that? <laughs> <laughs> Only to throw it back harder. Don't worry. Right. Is um, uh, you're saying you're open to it all? Before I used to be like, oh, you know what? I don't <clears> know <throat> what I want, but I know what I don't want. And we can always do that to start with. Slowly but surely, I'm going towards a, uh, a path where I know what I want, and it's becoming much clearer mm. to avoid things that I yeah. don't want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that kind of flips back to what um, I originally came into this uh, thinking of being with someone. Now, I definitely don't want to have some other guys in my chick or, no. uh, you know, share someone. No. Yeah. And I don't really want to be in someone else's chick. But then isn't that going back to I don't know? Isn't it going back to I'm not saying that's I'm not saying that's my viewpoint. I'm just saying that's a viewpoint that some people have. No, it's just, what just what the I'd difference is it. that he's like, hmm, but, and right. I'm like, hell you're thinking to about the nuts. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that would yeah. never happen. Oh right. Yeah. Well, isn't that jealousy? Isn't that word of the day? I want it all mine. Like why? It's like why not? See, that is no, not, not just because you don't want to experience certain things doesn't mean you're jealous. See, I want to get all up in my woman. I don't want to start tasting Fred. Fred's nuts in my woman. <laughs> you know, if a, if a woman has, well, even 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 when they're not, they they still carry the DNA of like past relationship yeah, 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 partner, yeah, yeah. sexual partners for yeah. like a while. Yeah, a few yeah, months, yeah, yeah. even yeah, a few uh, months. it's longer than. Is that. it longer? Oh, oh, it could be man. years, oh, man. It's years, dude, it's oh, than that. So, so you can nah, have a baby nah. with somebody, and it could be you know a little bit of DNA from that other motherfucker. Yo, that's what I'm hearing. Oh, that's really? That's what I read. But wow. You know, but I don't think it would affect the baby that much. No, no. Like, but know. I think beyond. I could be wrong. Don't, yeah. don't. St- yeah, quote that's kind of mad. That, it is what I heard, though. That's kind of what I was reading. It was on the internet, so of course it was. <laughs> I would just accurate. say, you know, you know. If what you time is your train? Like, Forget forty-one. Not. All right, so we gotta wrap this up soon. Oh so, no! Yeah, he's gotta go in ten minutes. <laughs> Damn, he's gotta catch his train. He's gonna go catch a boot call. Yeah, yeah. So we, hopefully your night doesn't get jealous. Anyway, so 
we got to wrap this up. I'm going to do this one new segment real quick. Uh, it's called Wanker of the Week. So um, wow. we're we'll donate. I don't know if you ever watched Breakfast Club. Yeah, yeah, yeah Charlamagne Donkey. Charlamagne the guy does Donkey today. Yeah, it's yeah. the exact same thing. I was kind of Clever. stealing it from him. I like the word going, wanker. Yeah, it is applicable. It's England, yeah. right? So I can say Wanker of the Week. I was inspired by Charlamagne. I'm not going to try and rob what his up, stuff, what up? hijack his stuff. So not like Charlamagne's watching show, but if you are, what up? So anyway, um, this guy named, uh, what is it, Mo Ahmed. From England, right? This guy's from where was he Bedford. from? Nah, it wasn't from no Bedford. He was from. <laughs> there's a lot of Mo's, there's a lot of Ahmed's. We need to narrow this from, down. From Somerset, Somerset. Okay. He's from Minehead and Somerset, right? What did he do? So this guy is working hard. He's struggling with his, he's married. He's got his wife. They own this little trinket shop or something. They're not pulling in a lot of money. Mm. So they're struggling, right? So he's working two jobs. And then he finds out that his woman is out partying at the pub. So, of course, he goes into a rage now because he's pissed off because she's out there spending money, you know, and he's struggling just to get it in. So this place was only making like 20, did I say 20, 20 or so uh, mm -hmm. pounds a day. So That's not a lot of money at all. No, that's it's rough, right? That's nothing. So he decides I'm going to call in a bomb threat to the pub. <laughs> because no. I don't like that she's out Fuck with yeah. whoever she's out with. I don't know where she is. I don't know what's going on. She might be with some dude. Yeah. She just wanted know. to kill her buzz. She was. He's just yeah. So he was jealous, you know. So he was acting off emotion and just mm. and it just ruined him. So um, what's anyway, up? What the consequences? It's, hold on a second. <laughs> so they uh, evacuated the pub. <laughs> now the funny thing is, is that this happened at one o'clock in the morning. So if he had waited just like another hour or so anyway, she probably would have been gone home anyway, yeah. right? So he uh, had to pay 840 pounds of restitution, 120 hours of community service, and he got six months in prison. Wow. What a six months in prison. I think it was a suspended sentence, so he, he just does the community service, but I don't know how that works in this country. But um, this is just so you know, especially because you're going away, never move off emotion, dude. Always move on strategy, right? Mm. So... Straight just up, do yeah. something smart. <laughs> That's definitely, you know. Yeah. He called the pub, you know. See, he, he could have played the uh, noble cause, be like, "Look, I've been, I'm a working man, you know. I got values, self worth, like I said." Yeah. Uh, as soon as you do fake bomb threats, that's no, out that, the window. That takes you to a whole yeah. other, no, you're a whole dick other dimension. You're a so, <laughs> so you're anyway, a let me get. He was a hard working guy. Let me get back to this. Let me get back to this. Nice gotta wrap it up. So, um, you don't want to do that, okay. obviously. Be careful with stuff like mm. that. So this guy, this guy, could you just imagine if you went to prison and all the guys that are going to be, you know, running up in your woman anyway, you, you can't do anything. He'll be now. wanker of the week in another right. way. Right. They'll be forcing him to do right. some shit. You know, so anyway, so Mo Ahmed, keep keep it together, man. So um, <laughs> anyway, we got to get you out of here. Thanks for tuning in. Um, Mr. Valentine, Peace. enjoy your trip. Thank you. And um, See you when I'm back, if I'm back. Yeah, you'll be back. We're going to have to, uh, you know, rep him to a certain degree. <laughs> we might have to call you in and check on you. It'll be all right. So, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for coming in. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Later. See you later. All right.